all right in this video let's handle the put request now let me go back to employee 3 okay so in employee 3 we have a employee joseph and the software tester let's say what if i want to edit this i'll go to my class again and define put okay so put is a function and let's pass a request self comma request comma primary key okay so the moment you add this put function you will see the form here right so inside this form you are going to type something or add the data and click on put right so that's why you don't need to do anything you just mention the function here and form will be automatically rendered okay now that uh, we have the form what we need to do is we need to simply copy this and paste it you can remove this id because it is going to update to the id which is on the address bar right now what i want to do designation i want to change let's say ai engineer okay so now i want to click on this put button okay the moment you click on this put button the data is going to come here okay data is going to come here in this put method okay so here we want to handle that data okay so now let's handle so first of all whatever data came here incoming data right so we want to check what is the id you know it is coming from the request right we already have the a pk here right so that's why with that pk we will get the object first employee is equal to self dot get object get object and pass the pk okay so now we have the employee now the second thing that we need to do is we need to actually serial you know use a serializer serializer is equal to employee serializer pass this employee to this employee serializer with this employee we also need to accept the data the incoming data right so we are writing something here we are clicking on this button right this data we want to accept here okay this data we want to accept here the data is equal to request dot data right so whatever data we are sending from here will be inside the request okay so that's why we need to say data is equal to request dot data okay so because this is a put method we need to pass the object also right we want to know to which employee we need to update this new data right so that's why we need the current employee now after that it is very simple serializer dot is valid before we save the object we first need to check if whether it is valid or not right so that's why we say serialize serializer dot save okay so once that is done simply say return response serializer dot data comma status status is equal to status dot http in the put request we use 200 okay okay here also we have used the same thing right yeah all right now what if the data is invalid right in that case we should say return response serializer dot errors comma status is equal to status dot http bad request 400 bad request perfect now if i refresh this i have a you know uh, employee with the id 3 and uh, designation i want to change you know i'll put it here and remove the id and i'll say ai engineer okay i'll click on this put and you can see it has been updated and if you want to see here click on this employees it will show all the employees and here you can see id3 the designation has been changed okay the same thing you can check in the 
postman also okay just give it a try open your postman and do the same thing with your postman client as well all right so the next thing we want to actually delete this object right so if i put three here again this one i want to delete right let me quickly do this create a function and this time it will be a delete function and it will again take self comma request comma primary key right primary key is for to know which object to delete right so same thing i'll copy this and paste it here employee is equal to self dot get object with the primary key this will give us the employee right when we get the employee we will simply run the delete method on it simple okay so employee dot delete and simply say return response status equal to status dot http two zero four no content okay let's save it and let's refresh and you see we got the delete button also right so if i click on this delete it will ask me are you sure you want to delete this employee detail now i will click on this delete and you see http 204 no content which means it got deleted and if i go to employees and you see it had three employees now i only have two employee okay which means the id three is deleted all right so that's how you perform primary key based operations